um, I was just talking about how, you know, looking through a lot of things and I saw where Michael Cohen, uh, Cohen, that's what Diamond and Silk call him, Michael Cohen, <laughs> how he testified that President Donald J. Trump never fabricated anything. That's what Michael Cohen, now this, Michael Cohen was, is the witness for the prosecution. All right. Michael Cohen is the witness for the prosecution. And he told the courts that President Donald J. Trump never fabricated anything. So my question is, why is there still a case? If Michael Cohen was President Trump's personal attorney, and he said that President Trump never fabricated anything, why is there still a case? That's what I want to know. Why is it still a case? Mm -hmm. And, you know, with this Letitia James Gale, with her uh, campaigning on get Trump, get Trump, get Trump, this is called conflict of interest with what she's doing. Mm-hmm. It's called conflict of interest. Yes. Yes, that's what it's called. Okay. Now, I understand that they said that they have President Trump under a gag order where he ain't supposed to be able to talk about, I guess, the people that's in the case or the case or what have you. But I'm coming across a lot of videos where Letitia James is doing a lot of talking about the case and about President Trump. So how is it that she's not under a gag order? I'm just curious and I'm just asking, I just wanna know, why isn't she under a gag order? Yes, I'm talking about Letitia James, the New York uh, uh, Attorney General or District Attorney, whatever she is. Yeah, then I want to also know why is she going around acting like a jealous, deranged, obsessive, possessive ex-girlfriend who got dumped by her ex-boyfriend and who left her stupid ass for another person or woman? <laughs> now you got to say person because sometimes men leave your ass for another man. <laughs> yeah, this is the time we living in now. Mm -hmm. So, but that's how she's acting. She's acting like a deranged ex-girlfriend and she's only after Trump, Trump, Trump. Why is she running so hard behind a man that she says she don't like? But she is so obsessed with him. She's so obsessed with get Trump, get Trump, get Trump. So do she have a undercover hidden uh, feelings for Trump? And she's just not telling us because she want to stay so close to this man, want to keep him there in court on some bogus ass charges where there's no victim. There is no victim. Nobody came forward to say, I want to sue President Trump for something he did to me. Nobody's done that. No. She just came out and said, well, according to this, you lied about this. And according to that, back in 2014, you lied about that. Wait a minute. This lady act like President Trump got a loan from her and didn't pay her back. And she act like she's the victim in the case seeking justice. But now all of the banks that President Trump's got a loan for, from and paid back, none of them are complaining. They got paid back with interest. So what's really going on with Letitia James? Y'all, I, no, I really, I, I'm going to have to do my little investigation. Is this little fruitcake after President Donald J. Trump? Hmm. Because see, when you keep 
running behind a man like an old jealous deranged ex-girlfriend that means you truly love that man you really want that man to yourself for yourself that's what it looked like to me y'all what do it look like to y'all do it sound like i'm on to something because something else is going on here something else is truly going on here I, why do she want to keep this man like why does she want to just hold on to him she ran her campaign on get trump get trump she was gonna go after trump and now that he's in the courtroom they want to keep trump there even though michael cohen who is the prosecutor's witness said that president trump never fabricated anything so why is there still a case who's really trying to see justice here how did president trump harm letitia james how was letitia james harmed by president trump who's seeking justice where is the crime and where is the victim somebody please help a sister out here if there is no crime there is no victim that's seeking justice from being wronged by President Trump, why are we having this case? Somebody talk to me. I'm just trying to figure this out. Nobody was harmed. Nobody was injured. There's no injured party. So who's suing who? If it's the government, how was the government harmed by President Trump doing business at these different banks that he paid back? Hmm. Y'all, I can go on and on and on. I just, if, 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 if the banks hadn't came forward to sue President Trump for uh, this uh, attorney general, I, it, hey, somebody look up. Is she a district attorney or attorney general? What the hell is Letitia James besides, to me, a fool? What is she? What is she, attorney general? What is she? Somebody let me know what is she. Okay. Because I'm trying to see if no bank has come forward for the prosecutor to represent them in a, a case to seek justice, then what are they doing? She's the, She's the Attorney General of New York, right? Attorney General of New York. Then I want to know where the Republican Attorney General's at. Where are the Republican Attorney General's at? Because a lot of these Democrats are doing a lot of money laundering around here. Oh, yes, they are. They're doing a lot of money laundering around here. Uh-huh. You know, for her to be making, I don't know if it's a hundred thousand or three hundred thousand, she sure have a lot of millions mm -hmm. in her portfolio. Millions. I ain't talking about no two, three, four, five million either. Uh huh. So where are the Republican district attorneys and and attorney generals at here? Republicans. You got all of these DAs that want to get Trump, want to sue Trump. Republican attorney generals, Republican district attorneys, why hadn't you all went after none of these Democrats who are filthy rich off, the making, off of making a $100,000 salary? I just want to know, just asking my question, because I'm still stuck at who the hell is the victim here who's seeking justice the government seeking justice for what president trump didn't do any business with them he did his business with the bank who was paid back in full plus interest the banks are not complaining 
I heard something about an insurance company. Oh, he lied about this. He lied about that. The insurance company is not complaining. They got paid their money. So somebody, please tell Silk what's wrong with this lady. Do she really, really have a fetish for President Donald J. Trump? Hmm? Is, is she's a black woman. Do she like white men? Is that what it is? Do, do, is she in love with rich, powerful white men? I mean, I, I'm just trying to figure this thing out. What What is her fetish? What is, what is her obsession with President Donald J. Trump? You know, do... do is she having relations with President Trump in her mind? Huh? Is she having this relationship in her mind with President Trump? Is she having wet dreams about President Trump? Because everything is Trump. Get Trump. Get Trump. I'm just asking a question. She's having some serious sweats, hot flashes. Some, some wet dreams about this one man or something because it's all about get Trump, get Trump. Trump ain't never did nothing to this woman, but she's all about get Trump. Now she want to act like she hate Trump so much. She despised President Trump so much, but she loved being in his presence. She want to keep him close. And I guess the only way to keep him close is to keep him in the courtroom. Have all these different cases. Or we're going to sue your family for this. We're going to sue you for that. We're going to sue you. And this family ain't hadn't did anything to her black ass. Not a thing. But she so is in trench. She so have this fetish for Donald J. Trump. Yeah. It'll soon come out. We'll see. She better go take her a cold shower because President Trump is married. He's happily married. So she need to go take her ass a cold shower or something and get over this effectuation that she have with President Trump. Get over it. That's right. Now, look, y'all. I don't say my piece. Y'all go join me over there, Frank Speech. <laughs> Lindell TV, Get a Live, Rumble Live. Join me over there, okay? For the show tonight, we're going to be talking to Dr. Paul Alexander about a whole lot of different things, catching up on a lot of different things. All right? So y'all join me over there. That's right. She need to go and, and, and look into under the hood of the Biden clan. Yeah, go look over there. But you know what? Y'all see how Biden look. You compare President Trump to Biden. Hell, I'll go after President Trump myself. <laughs> Yeah, I know what's going on. Uh-huh. She loved her some rich, powerful white men. That's what it is. Yes, yes, yes. I think I know. In my own humble opinion, she's having several wet dreams about President Donald J. Trump. In my opinion, for her to be so effectuated and so obsessed and possessive over President Donald J. Trump. This is just my own humble opinion, y'all. And I'm sticking to it because something ain't, something ain't right here. Something's not right. She says she's seeking justice. Seeking justice for who? Who's been harmed? Where's the crime? And who the hell is the victim? All right. I've given you my two cents and I'm sticking to it. But in the meantime, I'll see y'all at frankspeech.com. Bye-bye.